Oi! You. You trying to take my daughter away from me. Change your name to MacDonald. Rub her out of my life. I thought you knew me better than that. All right, love. Calm down. I know you're upset. Oh, you'll know up. when I'm upset. No! No! No, Becky! Not here! No, you won't! enough. I'll pop by later, shall I? We can discuss it over a brew. Come on, love. Take your hands off her! She's upset! Or aren't you noticed? You are not taking my daughter away from me. Not now! Not ever! Steve's right, love. You took yourself away. And from what I've just seen, it's the best thing you ever did for Amy. That's it, lady. We're leaving. No, because I haven't said goodbye! Do you know what I really hate about you? It's the way you could choose your own child like that. I am not using her. And this from the woman that tried to sell her. Amy, it's the reason that I'm doing this. Right. So, not to do with privileges, then. You don't care a jot about her. She is everything to me. Whereas you, you just feigned an interest in her to grab the only man who'd have you. Actually, darling, they were queuing up. <laughs> and were they paying an all? Cheeky cow. And I can tell just by looking at you that you're used goods. Oh, and faulty goods at that. At least my eggs are in perfect working order. This will be a bit of a shock for Amy, and we'd like to prepare her. Poison a mind more like. No, we wouldn't do that. You have no idea what she says about me behind your back. Right, listen to me. This is not about Amy, this is about you coming in our house and throwing your weight about. I've told you to stay out I've of I've told you, you can go and... I can't sleep. She's my daughter, my responsibility. <laughs> Why you're responsible? Remember what she did at my trial? Oh, shut up, Gail. Steve. You can come and visit her any time you want. We're only next door. What did you say? Well, why do you have to make everything about you? You can't do this, Tracy. Just as long as you keep your skunk of a wife out of our hair, OK? <gasps> Ow! Go on, Becky, smack her. Oh, you don't. Oh, get off her, Becky! Hey, oh, get off. You know, you're a bully! Hey, come on! Get off! Come on! What sort of example is that to set to my little daughter? Oh, I am what example do you set when you murdered your boyfriend? I feel really scared. Oh, I'm going to have to remove myself from this situation. <laughs> oh, come on. No, come on, Amy. No, no. Stop it. Stop. Get off me! Oh, thank God. How dare you kidnap my daughter? I have a good oh. mind to call the police. Oh, Tracy. Don't be so stupid. She's here her own free will. She wanted to come home, didn't you, darling? Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? You snatched Never. her from our yard. Yeah, you snatched her from our lives. I am her mother. I have every right to take her wherever I want. All right, look, this is getting us nowhere. Just everybody calm down. OK, fine. So you just hand her back and I'll forget all about it, OK? No way. <gasps> Amy, come on. We don't have to listen to you, Mummy, darling. Becky. You might stand there and let this happen, but I'm not gonna. Well, get out. I'm going nowhere. Not without my daughter. <laughs> so you just hand her back all you wish you had. Fine. Fine. If you want everybody knowing your little secret. Come on, do it for Daddy. Oh, oh, I know how we can get in. Use her head as a battering ram. Oh, thanks for that. You know, you are really helping. Would you like me to have a car? With respect, Claire, you're nothing to her. Nice work. No, don't blame me. <laughs> she Hello? begged me no, to bring you home. No, you're the one who upset her. This is her home. Shut, shut up! Shut up! This right, Amy's going to be in there for the duration, and you know what? I won't flip him, blame her. Yes, you are right. We all need to calm down. Listen, listen, listen. Why don't you go through to the bar and I'll see if I can talk around? What? I, I'm the bad guy in all this now, am I? Uh, Becky, this isn't about you. We have got to put Amy first. Oh, come on. You can't win with her. That's right, Clara Bell. Now be a good girl, Becky, and run along. Has she had her eggy bread? Yeah. Look, 
That's it. I've had enough. I'm taking her home. Cheers, home. You're boring me now, Becky. Just go and get her, will you? And please, don't kick off again. I don't want Amy having to witness any more rows. You're the one who's always starting something. We're her mum and dad, and we don't want the poor kid growing up in some sort of war zone. You've been begging for a slap all day. Ah, uh, baby, baby, look, we don't want to make matters worse. Must be exhausting, trying to keep control of her. Like, uh, wrestling with a Rottweiler. Amy lives here. This is her home. This is where she wants to stay. But you don't give a toss about that, do you, as long as you get your own way? It's cruel to be kind, Becky. Yeah. And that's what this is about. Look, kids are adaptable. A couple of days sulking and she'll be fine. Steve, just tell her Amy's stopping here. It's not as simple as that, is it? Look, we all want what's best for Amy, so we're all going to have to learn to compromise. You behave yourself, Becky. You've already lost Amy. It would be such a shame if Max was taken away from you as well. That was some row. Pretty vicious. Get out. You know, more people divorce after Christmas than any other time of year. Oh, that and the summer holidays. Do one. I'm warning you. Spending all that time cooped up together makes people realise they are totally wrong for each other. So you want me to chuck you out? You know, I'm thinking about training to be a counsellor because I've always been a people person. Look, Becky, I can understand why you're angry with me. Me and Steve go way back. We've got a connection. And that is why you hate me so much. Because you can see it, can't you? And you know there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. I mean, you might be married to him, but that's nothing compared to having a child with someone. It gives you, like, an unbreakable bond. And that is something you will never have. Because you are incapable of giving him a child. My family mean everything to me. The all I've ever wanted. So no one's taking that away from me. No one. Will you enjoy the rest of your Christmas with Steve? Because it's going to be your last. Because I'm telling you, this time next year, it's going to be me, Steve and Amy together. A proper family. I'll see you dead first. Just give him a big fat kiss from me, won't you? Keep Give me that. Go, go. Give it to me. Get off me, you mad cow. That was Claire on the phone. Oh, I know it was. Like it was. God. Oh, yeah. So how many other Joshua's and Freddy's are they then? Well, so what if it was Claire? What has that got to do with you? She tried to kill me. Yeah, and I am good that she never managed it. You know what, Tracy? You want to pack this in right now because you ain't ever going to get what you want here. Oh, yeah. And you know what I want, do you? Claire. She's gone for good. She's never coming back. Fine. Well, I'm just going to have to tell the police that you know where she is. Do it. Let's see how popular that makes you around here. This isn't a popularity contest. Well, that's good, isn't it? Because you'd never win it. Listen, love. Half the people in the street chipped in to help her escape. Because they were delighted when she did what she did. So go on. You have yourself a little dig about. See what good it does you. Hiya. Got on some Oh, I'm sorry. Hiya. How was your holiday? I meant Amy. Steve said you were bringing her. Really? He didn't say out to me. He said, come in. Must be about the rotor. What, you mean the light? Who's minding Amy rotor? Quite witty, really, aren't you? It just takes a bit of spotting. <laughs> well, then I just don't know what rotor you're on about. Oh. Did Steve not tell you? Yeah, that's right, because, like, you rushed off swimming, isn't it? We're fully staffed, love. Saws. Starring everything, man. It's all right. My pleasure. Actually quite enjoyed it. I mean, it's hardly rocket science, but it's a pleasant little job. And me and Tina got on great, didn't we, T? Oh, she is lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd not sell my kid to her. But she's nice enough. You all right? Yeah, red wine when you're ready. I'm early. For Steve. No problem. Thank you. 
from that far. The whole street used to hate me, but now they all hate you instead. Looks like even Steve's going off you. You are. We've had enough of you today. Come on, then. Oh, my two favourite people. Guess the missing word. What can I get you? Oh, you're no fun. Hayley? No? The missing word is... Least. Devastated. What can I get you? Um, half the cider and black? You're not worried about getting the black current out your hair? Becky, she's not worth it. <laughs> I'm only messing with you. Wouldn't it just make her day? Ooh, today Rebecca is channeling sane and dignified. Good luck with that. How thick do you think I am? Um, do you really want me to answer that? How dare you manipulate this little girl? My daughter. You deserve to have a daughter. Yeah, well, at least I've got one. Which is more than you'll ever have. Stop me in public, go on. Hey, Becky! Hey, someone get Steve! What do you think you're doing? Um, what's it to you? Well, we're just about to go to the school. Why isn't she at school? What's going on? We picked her up early for a little treat. Take him to town. Hang on a minute. You can't do that. I know, but it's just been ages since we've seen her. Where's we? Steve? A bit of business at the bank. Come on, Princess. Where have you been? Just looking around them shops, Ames. You know the rules. If anything like this ever happens again, then I'm going to speed dial social services. Do you understand me? I know, I know. Hang on a minute. What are they? Well, I bought some luggage in the sale. It was 5% off. I mean it. You stay away from my daughter. I know, I know. Why don't you and Max and her and Amy, why don't you all go to Amy's parents' evening together? Oh, don't you like stop. Like a nice, proper little family. Becky! And you know what? When the kiddies are in bed, you can dim the lights, put on a bit of music. Oh, please. Oh, the cheap bottle of wine. As if I'd dim the lights. Shut up, you. you. Cow. What, you think I want him? You can have him. I've had him. What did you just say? Oh. Don't you realise that's how babies are made? Becky, don't stop. What did I do? I'm sorry, she's just. Was it you? What? You done it. Steve, you really need to get her an interpreter or a carer or something. Non comprende? You told them we paid for Max, didn't you? <laughs> it was her. It was her. She phoned social services. Asking me on a Monday, I say yes. Asking me on a Tuesday. Stop winding her up, Barlow. Oh, oh, well, that's a very nice way to speak to the mother of your one and only child. Two kids! He had two kids, I tell you! Oh, I know it was you! Let's get in the back it. now! She did it! She did it! Look, look, look at that smoke mush! But where's your ah. proof? You're just making things ten times worse. <laughs> Hello! Are you coming out here? Go away, Betty! Or do I have to come in? Hello! No! What are you doing? Did you not realise what she's done? It, it, it was her. <coughs> no! Go! What's going on out there? Ken! It's Steve. Listen, I'm sorry. Becky, put that down. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Whoa! Becky, engage brain. You swing that and we will never get Max back. We will never see him again. Becky, just give it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't if you batter Tracy, no. Move. Steve, I don't want to call the police. Oh. Whenever I will never have to. Get Tracy to do the dialing, Ken. She's never off the phone, that bitch! Dad! Keep hitting me upstairs! Amy! This is Becky McDonald. We've been tatty by to Max forever. Becky, you're insane! Yeah! Becky, now listen! I swear to you, it wasn't me! I'm innocent! Talk to the sledgehammer. <laughs> Say it! Becky, put it down! <laughs> leave us! Ken, put it, it down! Tracy, leave my daughter alone! She has cost me my son! It wasn't me! Somebody make her believe me! Becky! 
key. Look, you guys better stay with Amy. I've done nothing wrong. I swear on Amy's life that I never made that phone call. You swear on anything. I swear on Amy's life and happiness. That little girl will be happy as Larry once you're six feet under. No, that's not true, Becky. Kenny, I have warned you. Get out! Get out! Leave us! Call the police! Oh, you just love that telephone, don't you? I bet you've got social services on speed dial. It wasn't me! You're a liar, Tracy! Now then, are we all feeling the fear? Becky, I swear that it wasn't me! That means no. I'm innocent. That blue-eyed four-year-old is innocent. You know what? He only stopped wearing the bed seven weeks ago, didn't he, Stevie? He got an aeroplane, a comic book and two extra stories. It wasn't me. What did you say when you finally got through to them? Hi, I'd like to report a kitty, please. He's loved, he's well looked after and I'd like to blow his life apart. I said nothing because it wasn't me. I'm warning you, if you keep this up, I'm going to call the police. Oh, come love, I can't drink on duty. But listen, there's no harm in asking, is there? It's 999. Can you need me to write that down? <coughs> Who is it? Rent a kill. And I haven't come about the mice. Now, don't bother unpacking out else. There's been a change of plan. Look, Becky, I know you're upset. You might be carrying his baby. Close. Begins with a B. A little innocent unborn baby, so don't do anything you might regret. Nothing you ever spawn could be called innocent. You're evil. Get your stuff and get out. <laughs> what? I am still Steve's wife, and therefore half of everything he owns is mine, including this flat. So that makes you a squatter. Yeah, but Steve said that. I don't give a damn what Steve has said. As of now, I live here. Out. No way. Do you want to go through the window or the door? Right. Well, we'll see what Steve's got to say about this. Oh, hi, babe. Babe? Yeah, isn't that the pig in the movie? You know what, Becky, can you please let me pass? Because I am pregnant and pregnant women often need to go to the toilet. Yeah, and unpregnant women, we often like to shove their heads down. Have you ever played that game, Tracy? You know, many moons ago, I told you that I'd get your man. And guess what? I have. And do you know why? Because I am so fertile, I'm carrying twins. You two are a couple now. Uh-huh. Whereas you couldn't even cough up one little egg. Right. Do you really want to hit a pregnant woman, Becky? Do you know what being pregnant means? You don't know what it feels like, do you? And you never will. See, he's not here. He must be. Well, why don't you try it under the settee? Oh, maybe behind this cushion. Do not mock me. I know you were together last night. What? In that hotel. Carl told me. That was business. Yeah. Well, I know what kind of business. Tracy, you've just been absolutely ridiculous as ever. You've taken him from me. You got your claws back into him and you've taken him. How could you? Oi, I swear to you, nothing happened. How long has it been going on for? Oh. I mean, did it ever stop? Has he ever been faithful to me? Yeah, he has. No, I don't believe you. Well, it's true. Well, you still want him. Admit it. No. Liar! I don't. Admit it! All right. Yes, all right, then, yeah. Yeah, I still want Steve. I knew it. And last night, I laid it on a plate for him. I said, come on, let's get a room, let's go. Because I love the bones of that man, and yes, I would do anything to get him back. But he said no. He said no to me, he chooses you. And you know why? Because you're giving him something that I never can, so don't you even worry about it, Tracy. He's all yours. 
You all right? Stay away from me. Tracy in? Yes, she is, but I don't think she wants... What the hell are you doing? I've come to find out why you've lied. Becky, I think you'd better leave. I will, as soon as I get an answer. Just get out! Has she told you this tale that I pushed her downstairs? I was the one that called the ambulance. She could have died and all if it weren't for me. It... Why are you doing this? Well, just go, will you? You've caused enough trouble as it is. Come on, it is a simple enough question. I mean, it's not as if you haven't had a chance to leave. Steve's even offered you money to go. Right. So it's to get rid of me once and for all. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? You saw your chance and you took it. You know, Tracy, you didn't need to do any of this. I got the message loud and clear that all Steve wants is you, so even by your twisted standards... Just get pretty. out! Becky, this isn't going anywhere. You're an evil, evil cow. We are going to take you to the cleaners. Right. I get it. This must be what they call a hostile takeover. Oh, yeah. It will be hostile, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm ready to open negotiations anytime. That's enough. Shall I do it? You're missing the speeches. Excuse me. Oh, um, I meant to ask, only I forgot. What was your name before? I mean, before you married Steve. Oh, it's always been Becky. Only you won't want to be keeping it at McDonald's, will you? People might think we're sisters. I often look at you and think sister. You could change your middle name to X. Becky X McDonald. Oh, I'm so pleased that you came. Makes you seem horribly cruel. And me, really sweet. And the cherry popped on top. Steve hates you even more. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs>